Today we're going to be teaching our dog the retrieve over the high jump. Now you want to make sure your dog already knows how to retrieve on flat, which I do have a video on. I'll make sure I place it in the description of this video. And the first thing I want to do is I want to get my dog comfortable and happy about doing the jump. Now she already knows how to jump, so I can tell her jump and she'll jump. And the way that I taught that jump is I use something like a toy reward, but I make it fun. We don't want to put too much pressure on our dog. We can also place the toy in front of the jump, and then we can tell our dog to get the toy. We can release them and encourage them to jump over. So it helps get them used to having the toy in their mouth when they make the jump. I can even use the command that I use for the retrieve. Bring. Very good. Nice job, Ari. Bring. Very good, good girl. Nice job. Bring. Excellent, good. Bring. Very good, and you wanna make sure they're jumping. If they pick up the item and they go around, don't make a big deal about it. Reset and do it again, and then really encourage them and praise them when they make the jump the way that you want. Then we can hold our dog back, throw it, bring, release. So they grab it and bring it back, encourage them to go through the jump and then play a little bit more tug. Very nice. Ari, out, bring. By holding her back, I'm creating a little bit of frustration, which gets her excited to go and get the toy. The main thing I'm focusing on on this part of the exercise is that she's going over the jump, she's picking up the toy, and she's carrying the toy over the jump while creating that strong positive association. She loves playing tug, so this makes it very fun, which is going to transfer over pretty nicely when we have her doing the retrieve for the dumbbell. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do an exercise known as back chaining. I broke down the 10 steps that I like to follow when teaching the retrieve, and now I'm going to incorporate a little bit of that when we introduce the high jump to our dog. Now if you notice, I have some ring gates lined up, and that's to prevent my dog from making any mistakes as far as going around or skipping the jump. Our dogs are going to take the path of least resistance, so we want them to go over the jump and not start creating the habit of going around. When we're doing the step and we're using the tug toy, if they go around, not a big deal, but I wanna make sure they know they have to go over the jump when they go to retrieve the item and when they come back to give the item back to me. So just like, come here, Ari. So she likes jumping it. We wanna have the dog right in front of us. We wanna get them holding the item, bring, and we want them to be able to walk with that, come to the sit front position, heel. I even like them to do obedience commands free with the dumbbell in their mouth so they get used to holding it and executing these commands, very simple commands, but when we put it all together, it comes into a nice retrieve. I'm gonna put her in a sit, then I'm going to set the dumbbell in front of her, sit. Now I'm going to tell her to bring it to me so she has to pick it up and then come sit directly in front of me. And I can help with my body language as much as I need in order to get her into that sit front position. Bring. Out. Free. And now I can reward her for doing that exercise. Heel. Sit. Same thing. Bring. Heel, free. This time I had her come into the heel position. Sit, repeat the sit command. Step out in front of her. Bring. And of course this is possible because we've done the retrieve on flat. Out, free. So it makes it much easier. That's why you wanna make sure you teach your dog the retrieve on the flat before you introduce the retrieve over the jump. And now we're going to start introducing the item behind her. So I'm gonna bring her into a sit front right here and I'm gonna have the dumbbell sitting behind her. So she's gonna to have to turn around, grab it, and then come back to me. And then we're gonna place it on the other side as well. So Ari, come, sit, come, sit. Bring. Free. That time I said free when I grabbed the item, rewarding her and releasing her at the same time. Heel, sit. So now all you can see is we're just adding and making it slightly more difficult each time. 
and I'm going to place it on the opposite side of the jump. I'm gonna let her see it, and now I'm gonna tell her to bring it to me. So I'm gonna give her the command while she's right there. So it's a very similar picture that we did before, but now the jump's in front of us. Bring. Out, free, very nice. That time I said out, and then I rewarded her for releasing it. Heel, sit. Now I'm going to place it in front of her, and I'm going to go on the opposite side of the jump. So I'm just changing the picture ever so slightly each time, and I'm building up on her success. Bring. Out, sit. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. Set it in front because we also want to get her used to grabbing the dumbbell and jumping over the platform. Now that it's in that position, again, I want her to get used to picking up the item, jumping with it in her mouth, and then coming to the sit front position. Bring. Free. Very good, Ari. And right there, I marked when I grabbed it telling her that she did it correctly, she can release, and I'm gonna give her a reward. After doing this for a few weeks, then I'm going to remove the ring gates, and I'm gonna do this exercise with just the jump. If you wanna pick up some of this equipment to start training yourself, I highly recommend JJ Dog Supplies. I'm going to make sure that I put a link in the description of this video, so if you'd like to order some ring gates or any of their agility equipment, you'll be able to do that. Now, the very last step before I officially remove the ring gates is I want the dog to do the entire exercise as if we were doing this in a competition. So I want her to be in heel. I'm going to throw the dumbbell once it stops moving. I'm going to give her the one command to bring. She will go retrieve it, come back into the sit front. I'm going to take it from her. Then I'm going to ask her to come into the heel position. It should look something like this. Bring. Out. Heel. Free. Very nice. Good girl. Now we're going to do it one more time without the ring gates. Now for the last step, I've removed the ring gates. If for some reason she decides to go around it to go get the dumbbell, I'm going to encourage her to jump over it by moving forward and talking to her, doing whatever I have to do to get her to jump the jump. And then I'm going to put the ring gates back up and I'm going to do some more repetitions with the ring gates in order to build that muscle memory so she doesn't start thinking it's okay to go around it. But if she does, I'm not going to make a big deal about it. I would encourage her to jump back over. Good girl, put the ring ga gates back up and I'm going to go back to work. Sit. Bring. <laughs> Out. Heel. Free. Very good. Nice job, Ari.